Hello once again, friends. This is David J. On this channel, we talk about intelligetics and all things interesting about the data sciences that contribute to wisdom and ethical understanding. Here we study ethical big data for the small enterprise and individuals. Attribution for citations and quotations is available separately. What are those inherent limitations? There are three limitations inherent in time series data. They are first, the lack of explicit causal linkage. Second, the price bias. And third, the lack of volumetric economics. Although some will say to the contrary that predictive analytics can be accomplished sufficiently with time series data alone, that is more often than not only because the linear regression coefficient is narrow and reliable. However, I disagree in principle with this weak assumption. Firstly, causality in time series data is obscure and at best only implied at the time dimension. The implication is only that some causality is acting as time proceeds. That implicit causality of a multidimensional model may be understood by the observer, but only because they already possess other essential information about the functions accounted for and enjoy an understanding of causes demonstrating their effects in those time series events. However, the causal relationships are not intrinsically evident in the presentation of the time series data. Secondly, much but not all of the financial economic time series data you ordinarily find in business news and reportage of the values of securities is going to focus on prices. The underlying assumption of such time series data as many Wall Street analysts and business reporters attest, is that the price of a security over time, the values that buyers and sellers agree upon in the open market during a day, a week, a month, a year, encapsulate all the significance that you as a business person or investor or trader need to know. However, as a data scientist, I disagree. I contend that other fundamental atomic data is even more meaningful for descriptive and predictive analytics. Thirdly, in business economics fundamentals, no matter the industry, commodity, or product, the most essential atomic data a scientist or economist can study is the volume of the supply and the demand of individual closed transactions resulting from an offer and an acceptance at a specific price at a specific moment in time and marketplace. This data is very hard to come by because remember, the accountants and enumerators aggregate everything, easier for them, more difficult for us. However, with the advancement of networking and computing technology, we now have tool sets at our disposal that can perform the work of analyzing vast numbers of these individual transactions, not only in the aggregate. In conclusion, I've mentioned three shortcomings of time series data that deserve your consideration as a data scientist and are important to transcend. Our first task is going to be to find and stage individual volumetric transactions. Then we can begin to model them efficaciously to arrive at first causes and make inferences about first principles and axioms for the models. We won't be constrained by time, but can introduce it as one more dimension for multidimensional modeling when we choose to. Advancing beyond the initial discovery of time, time series data requires hard work and research, but those are feasible, and you know you have the capacity for them. Deeper analysis is worthwhile and increases the value of our work as data scientists. In a future chapter, I will discuss the challenges, value, and opportunities of individual transactional, atomic, volumetric analytics with big data tools. So in closing, that leads us to another chapter on transactional volumetric analytics. Remember that data has shape and shape has significance. Until the next time, enjoy abundant results in all you do and all the best of all to you in all you do. This is David J. signing off.